Good morning everyone. As I said, this wasn't planned, it's not going to be very long, it's only going to be a couple of minutes. Um, but <laughs> I saw these out for a walk and I thought I had to catch that for you. I thought you all might enjoy that. Who's that running away? Hurricane, I'll come back in a minute. <laughs> all the good leaves are over there. So Hurricane's looking for the good leaves. <laughs> Make sure you join us again later on at half 11. Is it half 11, Becky? Yeah, 11.30, we're going to do some enrichment for these guys. <laughs> Hello, mate. With, um, with some bubbles. So we're going to let them play some, with some bubbles that someone got off our Amazon wish list the other day. So thank you for that. So is the hurricane going through a malt at the moment? Or is he just scruffy? Yeah. Because he's starting to look a bit scruffy on his back there. <laughs> so you got one over there. He said, cool, I'm out. I'm going to get some grass and things. <laughs> Thank you, Nicola. Morning, everyone. So this is something that we do every single morning. Um, the penguins can do it um, or they can stay in, in the nests or on their beach if they want. It's completely up to them. So they don't have to do it, but they do have that option. Um, and we usually do it um, just after we open the park. So if you come to the park and you want to see this, if you pop straight up to the um, to the penguin green, we do that every day. Just for a bit of fun, give them some exercise, change of scenery, and let them pick up some leaves for their nests. Hi Scarlet. Hi Daisy, hi Roberta up in Belfast, oh, thanks Nicola, yeah he's down, down there, <laughs> he says Kermit, hi Alice and mum, I'll see if and then they get a little bit of food while they're up there. Yeah, we still have Isabel. Is Isabel out? No, she comes to bother tomorrow. Nah, she's on the beach. I'll go around and have a look in a sec. She couldn't be bothered to go out. Like I said, they don't need to come out. If they don't want to go for a walk, they don't have to. Sometimes you might have three or four come out, other times you'll have to hold. The whole group come out. Thank you, Laura. A penguin nest isn't all that interesting. <laughs> it's, it's, it's smelly and dirty. Um, <laughs> hi, Siwu. But I think Becky and Sarah are going to do a video of us uh, for us in the next couple of days um, of a penguin nest. It's right, isn't it, Becky? You're gonna do a nice video of a penguin yeah, we're nest for us, aren't we? Weigh the penguins. Yeah. Uh, so we weigh the chicks every few days um, at the beginning. Uh, we'll share that with you a bit later. So then you'll see whether we got chicks or not. You might. We might have some chicks to show you. Hi, Sophia. Well, we can't wait to have you here to do your experience. That'd be brilliant. Hi, Jenny and Alfie. Come on, Kermit. Hi, Louise and Oliver. Olivia, sorry. Yeah, so quite often they don't want to go for walks. They're not. Sometimes they can be quite lazy. Hi, Sam. Hi, Anne and Kirsty. Thank you so much for those stars. They really help us out. So someone asked about the... Um, Amazon wish list. I will get a link and put that in the description afterwards. Like I said, this is only going to be a short video. It's nearly finished already. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Kermit, uh, where's he gone? No, he's still there. I'll go see him in a second. In <laughs> right, so they're all back in there. Did you say that's Kermit? Let's go see Kermit. So you can spot him first. Anyone spotted Kermit yet? 
There he is. <laughs> all this time, all you've got is that little mouthful of leaves. Thank you, Kirsty and Hannah. Hi, Bella and Caitlin. Hi, Leon and Dudley. And Noah. Hi, Liam and Thomas. Yeah, we love the chocolate kind of penguins too. Maybe I'll have to put some on them as a wish list for the keepers. <laughs> Thank you, Jade. No, no, we've never lost one. They never go far. So they never go far from, they either stay, um, so hi, Faith, Harley and Callie. So they either stay on this green, so they go hang out with the ducks, um, or they go slightly up to like where the boat was, uh, but that is it. Oh, you dropped everything for the big leaf. Hi, Ben. Hi Olivia, Cody, hi Harley and Callie. <laughs> hello mate. Say hello to Cookie today. So who's his girlfriend? Pearl. Pearl. She'll be on the next appointment. So she, he's finding some nice leaves for Pearl. Hi Lauren, hi Daniel and Freddie. Hi Sophie and Daniel and Donna. Morning, Noah, Nathaniel, and Ella. Hi, <laughs> Jess. We've got lots of hellos today. Mandy and Beth. While I'm down here, a lot of you keep asking about seeing Timmy, <laughs> the boobock owl. It's a bit cooler this morning, so he's out. He's not looking all flaffed up like he was the other day when it was really hot. There's Timmy. Thank you, Andrew. So he's a boobock owl. Hi Nathan, Alfie, Oliver, Maya with Nanny. Hi Alice, Alyssa, Juno. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, thank you, Freya, for saying hello to Kermit and Jasper. Hi Lizzie. Scarlet and Amber, hi Sophia yeah. and Lana. Mm -hmm. Hi Miley, Maisie and Piper. Hello for that. Let's get down to penguin level. <laughs> Sometimes tries to bring the whole tree with him. What are you doing mate? Thank you, Emma. Hi, Lyle. Peter, oh, down in Plymouth. I don't know if he's trying to find the best leaf for Pearl, or if this is just an excuse to have some time away from her. <laughs> so they take it in turns on the nest. So sometimes the boys will be on there, sometimes the girls, and then the other one will go out and feed. So now he's decided to ditch the leaves and go for grass instead. Wrong way. <laughs> he's loving the limelight, he's the last penguin left. He goes, yeah, I'm going to be famous. Hi, Imogen and Lucas. I'm going to clear a path of leaves in a minute. Hi, Francis and Liverpool. I don't know about a quick escape. I don't, he's going nowhere fast. Great idea, Amanda. Some animals eye view videos. Who would we use? Thank you, Louise. <laughs> Why 
Well, this was a lovely surprise this morning, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's fed up his lockdown. He's making the most of his um, one exercise outside a day. <laughs> Hi, Isabella and Henry. Oh, happy birthday, Alice, to today. You say he's going to have a cosy nest. He'll probably drop it out on the beach or drop it just before he gets to the beach or leave it all in favour of one of these little leaves or something. There's... <laughs> There's no real... <laughs> yeah, look, there we are. It's just an excuse. The whole thing was just a ruse to stay away from the missus for a bit. Hi, Danny and Matilda. Thank you, Gavin. <laughs> Are you meant to do a uh, penguin feed today, Debbie? Oh, well, hopefully we can get that booked in for a good day for you. Um, once we're open again, we'll help you sort something out. Hopefully this is making up for a little bit. I know it's not the same as being here, but... <laughs> so these guys they don't live on ice they live um so they come from chile which is not as cold as it sounds um so that is in south america so they do live somewhere quite hot most of the penguins live in hot countries actually so i've managed to see penguins in australia is that for me uh in australia and i know some people who have seen um, penguins in south africa so how many how many penguin species come from really cold places? So in Antarctica, um, I think only four actually breed on the continent in, in Antarctica. Cool. So the rest are the sub-Antarctic islands or South America, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Cool, so there's actually only four species of penguin that live in Antarctica. Oh, breed or in Antarctica. breed there, sorry. Others will go there, but not, not to breed. Are we going on the walk again, Kermit? <laughs> that was well timed. So you don't see the pearl. Oh, Hi, Toby. <laughs> I'll try and do a recorded video of um, the sloths at some point. Um, I don't get any signal up there, so I can't do a live stream. Hi, Ruby, age 13. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Oh, a belated happy birthday to Jack. <laughs> He's really going for it. That's not the one. He's not found the right leaf yet. No. He had a lovely big mouthful earlier. And bring us some flowers. Hi, Mia. I'll put a link in the um, description in a little while for, for the Amazon wish list. <laughs> Hi Elliot and Max. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was only going to be a couple of minutes long. But everyone's really enjoying seeing him, so I'm going to keep following him around until he goes in. So he might be here a while. Get two walks today, breaking the rules. <laughs> but as I said as well, um, if you come back at half 11, we're going to see if they want to play with some bubbles. They might not, there's no guarantee, but um, it's good fun when they do. What I've got here, I'm going to put a link in the description as well. Um, if you could come back um, after the video and have a look at that, uh, that'd be really, really handy for us. There's um, the British and Irish Zoo Association are running a 
photo competition at the moment. So the photography competition is something that they run every year and it's usually um, awarded at the annual conference, um, which at the moment um, I think isn't going to be going ahead or at least is going to be postponed. Um, so they are doing a public vote for some of the photos in there. So we've got two photos in the competition this year. So one taken by myself, and that's a picture of Lucas, and then a picture of one of our Binturongs, which was taken by Leanne. Um, so yeah, so if you could pop back after this video and have a look at that link um, and vote for us, that would be really, really helpful. It's just for a little bit of fun. Very nice to see one of our animals' um, photographs getting an award. <laughs> Back to the bamboo leaves. So I think our oldest penguin is 11, which is this guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie and Chloe. <laughs> it is the Kermit Show. I was on my way to have breakfast. <laughs> Problem is now that I've started following around, I can't stop till he's on the beach. <laughs> Thank, you, gonna be today. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> um, so they did say they lived till 25. Up to 30. And in the world, 15 to 20 would be a great Yeah, so in human years, I guess he would probably, in that case, be in his late 20s, early... No, no, um, so late 30s, probably. So he's... Oh, well, maybe a little bit younger. <laughs> I think that's a bit ambitious trying to bring the whole bamboo stick back. Hi, <laughs> right, Chloe and Scarlet. Um, so we we never pick them up to move them around um, while they're on their walk. Uh, their walk is penguin time. Um, if they want to be out for two minutes, they can be out for two minutes. If they want to be out for twenty minutes. That's up to him, um, or if they don't want to come out at all, that's their decision as well. But the problem with it, if he was to pick up after your family is that he picks things up and he just drops them somewhere else. <laughs> He's not actually tidy it up. So no, that's not a donkey in the background, that's the rest of the penguins. Hi, Tylee, Vinnie and Betsy. So the, um, them playing with bubbles, that's going to be later on today at half 11. Thank you, Natalie. So they usually live for about 30 years. Hi, Finley. Hi, Zach. So yeah, so that noise in the background is, is, is the penguins. Sometimes it's absolutely amazing the sounds that come out of animals. You just don't believe it sometimes. So those donkey sounds are the penguins. And sometimes when you hear like a little squeak, it's usually the big tapirs or the cheetahs. Oh, you're going behind the fence. That might be the end of the show if you go back there. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, 
Kermit and Pearl have had babies before, haven't they? Um, and in fact, is one of their first babies has had laid her own eggs this year, hasn't she? Is that right? No, that was Okay. Cool. So yeah, so he has had um, chicks before, um, and he's um, so Pearl is currently in their nest with um, an egg in there as well. Ah, so Kermit is a good lad. Um, so Isabel, the first egg she had, um, she abandoned, and Kermit actually looked after them. So that was one of some of our first eggs. Um, he helped rear those. So if they were going to wander off too far, um, we might sort of just stand in their way a little bit and make it a little bit more difficult for them to go to places where we don't want them to go. Um, but no, they're, um, they can go pretty much where they want and how long they want. Thank you, Natalie and Charlotte. Thank you very much. Um, I'll have a look to see if we can do something else with the lions and tigers again. Um, if you could look back through some of our videos, we did do one the other day. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. Um, so what was that question earlier? So do make for life, yes. Thank you, Bex. So he, what age was he when we got him? Uh, most of them were two when they came. So he was about two when he arrived, so he's been here about nine years now. So the, fur, the most steps they've ever done would be Kermit right now. <laughs> so it's not very often that we get them, to, that they do two laps. <laughs> usually, yeah, that is a record break, yeah, usually at the most it's one lap. Um... In fact, most of the time, they'll actually, over there between those tables, they might cut across and do half a lap. So thanks, Anita and Susan. What are you doing? Hi, right, Katie. <laughs> Come on, we're nearly there, mate. Nearly there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we've got a few... Um, turtles on the lake and then we've got some um, tortoises as well we've got a few different species of tortoise <laughs> yeah we should see how many steps he does <laughs> we'll do a competition see if you can guess how many steps they take to do a lap Come on, I want my breakfast. I think, he's now, I think he knows he's being Thank you, Angela. Happy birthday to Samantha Whitehead. <laughs> That's a little burst of speed. So this species is um, a Humboldt's penguin. So they get their name from... Um, not so much where they live, but where they do most of their fishing, their hunting, so they go for swim in the Humboldt's current. Um, so yeah, we do these walks every day. I don't know if a Fitbit would work on the... Because of the way they waddle, it might work on their arm. Which wouldn't be a um, which wouldn't be a problem because they're used to having bands on their arms anyway. I don't know if that would work. So it's him on his own just because he decided to go for two laps rather than one. So while he's, I've got to finish this off. I've got I've got to follow this through. Um, and then I'll show you in a second the rest of the group. 
That's absolutely right, he's taken literally nothing back in the end at all. So now he's got to try and explain to Pearl why he's come home empty handed after being out shopping for three times as long as the rest of the group. <laughs> he's fighting it. He's fighting it as long as he can. <laughs> it's still there. Oh no. He's got a tiny little bit of grass stuck in the side of his mouth. So I think he's going to pass that off as his Give little gift cheer. for... Are you coming in? You in yet? <laughs> it does seem like he's avoiding her, doesn't it? Hey! Hey! There he is. So if you look closely at the side of his mouth, his beak, he does have one piece of grass. <laughs> right, so there's the others, and um, like I said, he's literally the only reason why he was out on his own was because he was taking his sweet time. So, big cheer for Kermit! Well done. He's got no intention of going back to where's Pearl? Uh, she's in the fourth He's got no intention of going home yet. I think he's going to pretend that he's been out here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so thank you very much for all of you for watching um, this short little trip with the <laughs> penguins. Um, but yeah, join us again at half 11 for Bubbles and Penguins. And then I'm going to put the link up for the Amazon wish list and also for the Biaza photo competition. If you could go out and vote for us, that'd be absolutely brilliant. I'll do a post about that as well. Um, thank you to Sue and everyone who's sent the stars this morning. I think Kermit definitely deserved those. Um, and yeah, thank you very much and see you again in, what's the time now? Well, in 40 minutes. <laughs> see ya, bye. Oh, thanks, Sid.